14 Utah at 18 USC. Uh, on paper, 6 and 1 versus 5 and 1. Uh Utah's got one loss in the big in the Pac-12, excuse me. USC's undefeated in the Pac-12. Uh USC's favored by 7 this games at 5 p.m. on Fox. Um man, I mean, where do we start? Utah's defense versus USC's offense is going to be the biggest thing and the USC's offensive line has been terrible. I saw something that the past 3 weeks that Caleb Williams has been pressured, I think something like 50 or 58 times in three weeks, which is absolutely ridiculous. And if, if you're the offensive line, they got to bow up because Utah's defensive end, Jonah Ellis, is a monster. This Ellis family, um, they're, they've got brothers in the league. They've got brothers that, that went to Idaho. They've got brothers everywhere. This Ellis family is just breaded with defensive linemen talent. Jonah, Jonah Ellis might be one of the best defensive ends in the country when it's all said and done. I think USC's offensive line has got to step up, find ways to try to double him. Um, and then also, I think they got to be able to run the football. They cannot run the football against Notre Dame. And with Lloyd, uh, that's something they've got to, that's something they've got to establish in order to open up the passing game. We see that all the time there for USC. But, man, what sticks out to you about this matchup? Sucks Cam Rising is probably going to be out for it. Bryson Barnes is probably going to get the start for Utah. But you've got Utah, who's a ground and pound, punchy in the mouth type team then you got usc that's kind of the pretty boys in town that's got a lot to prove after a tough game last week against notre dame i think usc plays with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder the con- the perception of usc right now is down uh mm. this is a team that beat them twice handily last well they lost one by one in salt lake last year and then in the pac-12 championship utah punched them in the mouth but <clears throat> if you think about it, the last six quarters that utah and usc have played utah has absolutely dominated so I think USC goes into it, takes it personal. I think Caleb Williams takes this personal. I think mm. Caleb Williams, I think the worst thing for any of his upcoming opponents that happened was that Notre Dame fan coming up and talking shit to Caleb Williams. Because he got asked about it in an interview. And yeah, his response <laughs> his response was legendary. If you haven't seen it, go watch the clip. But he basically said, everyone wants to be a lion. Or like he said something like, yeah, I'm a lion. I don't concern myself with the opinion of this sheep everyone wants to be a notre dame football player but he's just a regular ass like i was like yeah talk your shit yeah then he said he said something like everyone wants to be in these 12 and a half shoes or whatever because he wears size and a half um but he's like he probably went to notre dame because his family went to notre dame or he's not even a notre dame fan yeah yeah Yeah, like i think that caleb williams has a huge bounce back game and i just don't think utah's offense is good enough to score with usc yeah, I mean, Utah offensively, Bryson Barnes had that really good game against Florida with Money Parks. That was the first play of the season, that long throw. But since then, last week, they ran the ball 53 times against Cal. So they're going to run the ball a ton. I don't know if they really trust Bryson Barnes, but I think in these kind of games, Cody, I think Whittingham's going to be like, okay, all right. Rising is not coming back anytime soon. This is the quarterback we got right now. What passing concepts are you comfortable with? Let's get you comfortable in those third downs if they end up somehow stopping the run. Because USC's defense, whether you like it or not, folks, they looked better last week. In traditional, they actually, Joe Klatt said exactly. in traditional drives where Notre Dame had the ball and relatively on their own 37 or at midfield or whatever, um, they played well. And I, I agree with them to that. We'll see what USC can do. And, and USC's DBs won't have a lot to worry about because Utah's receivers are probably, I don't want to say the worst receiver room. I think Money Parks is solid, but not really something that they're used to in the Washingtons and the Oregons and those. I'll say it. They're the worst receiving group in the Pac-12. They just are. Yeah. That's what it is. Maybe yeah. Cal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Cal. I'm dead. All right, Cody, let's get to predictions. I'm going USC 35 over Utah 20. I think it's a high-scoring game, but I, I think they pull out. I think you're right. They got a chip on their shoulder. I think Lincoln Riley finds something to do. Um, I think he finds a way to win after what happened last week. What about you? Yeah, I'm going to go 35-17. Um, I think uh, Utah scores 10 against the ones against USC, and then like mm. they'll score a garbage touchdown late. 